Bill. Wow, Danielle, thank you. Well, it's a way to stop floodwaters from catching businesses and homeowners off guard. The city of Lebanon Mayor Rick Bell says he's hoping to have flood sensors online before heavy rains hit the area later this fall. As News 4's Jorlin Bukovac explains, it's something they've been working on since before the flood back in March so people know when to get their sandbags ready. I'm told it took months for some businesses to reopen after being hit by the flood back in March, but some business owners are still trying to fix the damage. We were out about four months. Uh, Dreams is uh, still out, but they're getting really close to opening back up. Nancy Owens from Urban Mills Promotions and Boutique says she's lived in Lebanon her entire life, but never saw a flood like the one back in March. Yeah, it was just an experience. I've, I've never been through it. Um, and I, I hope that the measures can be taken to try to keep it from happening again. Owen says 14 inches of water washed into the store and the owner was tracking the spring showers. The flooding is something that's historical in our town. It happens every so often, has for the past 100 years. Mayor Rick Bell says even though the city tracks how high creeks are getting, they've installed sensors to alert everyone of when there might be a flood. In, in the past, it's always been estimate. And with these sensors, we can get a really accurate timeline of when the flood waters are coming and make sure that people um, you know, can, can get out of their homes, get prepared, protect their businesses, whatever they need to do before the waters get there. Mayor Bell says the sensors and alert system is up and running, but they aren't yet online for the public to see. Well, the sensors work. They are ready, and right now they're being tested with, with a few citizens who uh, have businesses on the square, or have, have, have uh, property on the square, to make sure that it looks right, to make sure it's giving out the correct information, and to make sure it's understandable. Mayor Bell says he's hoping to have the alert system up and running in the next couple of weeks. Draylin Bukovac, News for Nashville.